You know, there were hundreds of movies that came out in 2023, new superhero flicks, uh, biopics mm -hmm. about one of the greatest video games of all time, Tetris. I still haven't seen it, but I know it's great. I heard it's great. Well, we have our favorites, and our movie guy is no exception. So here is Paul McGuire Grimes with his top five movies of 2023. Hello everyone, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes. We're here at the Imagine Theaters, Willow Creek. I just love this theater, and I'm here with my top five movies of 2023. If summer doesn't sing in you, then nothing sings in you. And if nothing sings in you, then you can't make music. Coming in at number five is Maestro. This is Bradley Cooper's passion project. He wrote, directed, and stars as legendary composer and conductor Leonard Bernstein. You may know him as the composer of West Side Story and Candide. And Bradley Cooper's really honed in on the complicated love story between him and his wife Felicia, who's played by the great Carey Mulligan. Now, as a director, Bradley Cooper really proved himself with the stars board, and we see that even more here. He knows how to use a camera to tell the story. He understands the musicality of what the story is like. And it's such a heartbreaking story. It's complicated, it's about marriage and love and the balance between work and music and entertainment and life and family. It's a gorgeous story, now streaming on Netflix. When this money started coming, we should have known it came with something else. Coming in at number four is Martin Scorsese's Killers of the Flower Moon, based on the true story of the Reign of Terror. It stars Golden Globe winner Lily Gladstone as Molly Burkhart, who finds her family murdered uh, when people come into town trying to take over the land and the oil. This movie is showcases an important part of our American history that Martin Scorsese is really trying to showcase and highlight the indigenous Osage community. It also stars longtime Martin Scorsese collaborator Robert De Niro and Leonardo DiCaprio in really stunning roles, some of their best work in years. Pillars of the Flower Moon now streaming on Apple TV+. Hey, Barbie. Can I come to your house tonight? Sure. I don't have anything big planned, just a giant blowout party with all the Barbies and plant choreography and a bespoke song. You should stop by. So cool. Coming in at number three is the biggest movie of the year. That, of course, is Barbie. What Greta Gerwig did with bringing Barbie and Ken to life was extraordinary. People flocked to the theaters to see this movie, and it surpassed everyone's expectations. It starred Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling, of course, as Barbie and Ken. And this movie, the writing, so creative, so clever, so empowering. I loved everything about it, from its production design and the costumes to the incredible music. Barbie is now streaming on Max. If you didn't get a chance to see it in theaters, highly recommend it. Are we saying there's a chance that when we push that button, we destroy the world? Chances are near zero. Near zero. What do you want from theory alone? Zero would be nice. Coming in at number two is the other half of the Barbenheimer double feature, and that, of course, is Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer, telling the very true story of J. Robert Oppenheimer and the Manhattan Project and what happened with that. It is another masterpiece from Christopher Nolan, of course, the director of movies like The Dark Knight, Interstellar, Inception, and Christopher Nolan does such an exceptional job at telling this story about you know, science and technology, and really giving it this kind of courtroom legal drama, diff telling it from different perspectives, different timelines. It stars an incredible Killian Murphy, who also won the Golden Globe, Robert Downey Jr., who also won a gold. Look for Oppenheimer coming soon to Peacock. Hello. Hi. Saw you looking at me from the street. I'm assuming you're not with anyone. Never see you with anyone. Coming in at number one, my favorite movie of the year is All of Us Strangers, starring Andrew Scott. He plays this kind of lonely gay man in London who starts to fall in love for the first time. And at this time, he decides to go back to his hometown and has those conversations that he never got to have with his parents, who died 30 years prior. It also stars Paul Mescal, Jamie Bell, and Clara Foy. This is a movie that I went in not knowing really anything about and found myself overtaken with so much emotion of what this story is about. The title works on so many different levels, asking us, are we a stranger to ourselves? Are we a stranger to our parents? Are we a stranger to our lover? 
And I think you as the viewer really go in with whatever lens or perspective you have. It's now in theaters. I'd love to hear from you. What are some of your favorite movies of the year? Leave me a comment on social media at Paul's Movie Sharp. What movies did you love? What actors did you love in these movies? I'd love to hear from you. Leave me a comment on social at Paul's Movie Trip. Ooh, all right, good awful. job, Paul. He I just still sits need to... in those theaters by himself all the time. I know. He's so lucky. He gets all that popcorn. <laughs> yeah. I want all that popcorn. I do want to see that Flower Moon movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I know it's long, and I get it, but I, I'm really curious about that, and I know it's really good. Uh, for updates and reviews of movies and streaming services, visit Paul's website. It's paulstriptothemovies.com. Also, remember, Paul's monthly movie series at Imagine Theaters in Egan takes place the fourth Sunday of every month at 3 p.m., on January 28th, catch Robert Redford and Dustin Hoffman as Woodward and Bernstein in All the President's Men. Classic. Muska Lighting is having their annual floor model sale during January. Amazing prices. 25 to 50% off at their Eden Prairie and Roseville locations. they got to make room for all that new stuff they found at market. <laughs> we'll be right back. Thanks to Muska Lighting for sponsoring TCL's Movie Trip. Our mudroom fixture from Muska Lighting is a total showstopper. We get compliments from everyone who walks through the door. Talk to the experts at Muska Lighting in Roseville and Eden Prairie for help finding the perfect light for you.